and let us all that we can to build a better future. For quite some time. Hell, she's been in politics when even Kennedy was in the White House. Yeah, I know. Now, she wasn't in a position of power, but let's face it. Pelosi has been involved in D.C. politics for a very, very long time. Plus, just so all of you know, Nancy Pelosi is living the high life because her and her fantastic husband are doing insider trading. Hell, they're some of the richest politicians in American history. And again, you you, you heard me vote blue no matter who. Your queen... Old headbag Nancy, Nancy Pelosi, who likes to eat ice cream, who has gold-plated health care, a six-figure salary, and other wonderful social benefits, is doing insider trading. Now, the thing is, hey, other Democratic and Republican lawmakers are doing the same thing, too, because Nancy Pelosi and all of her fantastic friends who've been involved in D.C. set the precedent to do this kind of stuff. Now, if you, the average Republican voter, Democratic voter, independent, boomer, Gen Xer, millennial, Gen Z, doesn't matter color of your skin. If you did a fraction of what these politicians are doing in regards to insider trading, you are never, ever, ever going to see the light of day. These are the same politicians who helped create this corrupt neoliberal government that we are in. So I find it funny. I find it great. When someone like Nancy, and Paul Kruger, are confronted, are confronted and called out. And now I should save this for later on, but I will. Sh- I want to. I want to pull up this video now because all of you need to see it. Shout out to Jose Vega. Him and his colleagues confronted Nancy, Nancy Pelosi, where they reminded her where she admitted uh, there were no WMDs in Iraq. You remember that? Weapons of mass destruction? Told her that the financial system is collapsing because of her and that she's going to make Taiwan the next Ukraine. Let's enjoy this video. I will not pause this video. Enjoy it, everyone, in a three, a two, a one. You know, Pelosi, that's a very good place for you in the depths of hell because for some reason... That you did not admit that there were no, there were no WMDs in Iraq. You could have, you got us into a war in Iraq. You got us into an invasion of Afghanistan. Now over 90% of those people are impoverished an and are dying. You're an asshole. Why to tell the truth about Nord Stream? Why did we destroy Nord Stream? We're leaving millions of people without energy. You have a knack of getting us into war. Hey, Congresswoman, I came to see a warmonger, but you're a sad old drunk. (laughs) When you went to Taiwan, were you looking for Ukraine? Did we blow up the Nord Stream on accident or on purpose? Did you know about that? Aren't you supposed to be part of the indictment tomorrow? You're a war criminal by definition, Ms. Pelosi. You got some nerve. Is that why you're here in Manhattan? Is that why you're here? Because you're getting indicted tomorrow, you goddamn war criminal? How many people have died in your fucking name? Look at all the sheep. Bah, bah. See, that's the problem here in American politics. You got corporate media and the two-party system did a fan. This is not an endorsement, but they did a fantastic job in removing people's ability to think critically. Again, I'm going to say that again. Corporate media and the two-party system did a serious amount of damage in regards to removing the American people's ability to think critically. We lost our ability to think critically. These politicians don't like you. They don't think about you. They don't respect you. And both parties are doing insider trade. You know, here's the thing. Everyone's all worried about Trump. The current set of politicians right now are worse than him because why? They're able to put on this mask and convince average people. When you're on the road going to work right now, don't have a panic attack. But as, but as you're driving to work or you're taking the train to work or if you got the day off, hey, more power to you. Smoke, smoke a bowl, okay? If you got the day off today, you're a winner. 
take a step back and look around you and realize that all the people surround you, there's a good chance that they have been successfully programmed to accept the current system as is. That everything's okay. Isn't that frightening? So while all of you are aware that the fact of voting Democrat and Republican is is a waste of time. Now, look, I know we got some vo- uh, viewers here who vote Democrat or Republican because, hey, some of your states are very draconian and you can't vote third party or independent. Or, hey, maybe some people just don't want to vote third party or independent. But the, here's the thing. Really ask yourself, everybody. Do you really think you have a seat at the table if you vote Democrat or Republican? Do you really think these politicians care about you? Because they don't. How, how many people have died because of Iraq? All of you forgot about Iraq? Iran, Libya, Syria. God's plan was always never going to work if we don't deal with the 600. I thought Democrats care about free speech. See, and these people are booing it because they don't understand, right? Dodd Frank was weak. And remember, Bill Clinton, old horny Bill Clinton, got rid of Glass Eagle. That's what happened. And then you land your plane in Taiwan. We want a war with China at the same time. We want to all have nuclear bombs dropped on our heads. We live in Manhattan. I have to ask you to leave. Thank you. By the way, Lyndon LaRouche is back in a big way, and I'm here on behalf of everybody who loves peace and not war with Russia and war with China and a new hot war with the East. So, yes, those are all the sheep. So I want to pull this video up here now because we're going to go back to 2019. Pelosi tells a CNN town hall audience that she knew there were no WMDs, but chose not to impeach Trump because of what it would do to the country. Okay. Now, this is from 2019. The war in Iraq happened in 2001. Here, don't believe me that Pelosi said this crap here, here. Let's go and look at her together, together. As friends, because that's what friends do here. And if I had to see Nancy Pelosi's ugly, disfigured face like this, so do all of you. <laughs> Start your morning right and righteously angry with Hard Lens Media. So, uh, Speaker Pelosi, uh, you resisted calls for the impeachment of President Bush in 2006 and President Trump following the Mueller report earlier this year. Uh, this time is different. Uh, why did you impose Why did you oppose impeachment in the past? And what is your obligation to protect our democracy from the actions of our president now? Thank you. I thank you for bringing up the question about, because when I became speaker the first time, there was overwhelming call for me to impeach President Bush on the strength of the war in Iraq. Oh, my goodness. And so did Pelosi do the right thing? Because last I checked, did we find those WMDs? Oh, wait, there were no WMDs. It was all a lie. Ha. Huh. Well, surely there must be some form of accountability, right? Crickets, crickets. Which I vehemently opposed. And again, I, again, I, I say again, I said, said at other places, I, I, that was my wheelhouse. I was intelligence. I was a ranking member on the intelligence committee. She sounds slurry drunk. Uh, even before I became part of the leadership, a gang of four. So I knew there were no nuclear weapons in Iraq. It just wasn't there. They had to show. What? What? Wait, hold on. We're rewinding that. Because remember, that was the big selling point. Intelligence committee, uh, even before I became part of the leadership, a gang of four. So I knew there were no nuclear weapons in Iraq. <gasps> it just wasn't there. They had to show us. They had to show the gang of four. All the intelligence they had, the intelligence did not show that uh, that that was the case. So I knew it was a, a misrepresentation to the public. But having said that, it was a, in my view, uh, not a ground for impeachment. Uh, that was 
they won the so 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 remember in the words of Barack Obama we gotta look forward not backwards we tortured some folks so people died yep that's what we did and so the Democrats didn't do anything see uh, what, what what I find funny is that there's so many people who are eating popcorn looking at Trump thinking, oh, yeah, he's finally being indicted. Like, look, you do realize that there's somebody worse than him waiting in wings. Hell, we got politicians in power right now who have very good masks on who are worse than him. OK, see, the thing is, Trump's at least honest. That's I, I respect him because he's he's a corrupt politician, but he's honest about his corruption. That's what's refreshing. Honesty. I know he's a scumbag. He doesn't have to tell me he cares about the people or loves the people because he doesn't. He's like any other politician. He's like any other rich person. But the thing is, this Pelosi, she's convinced people, as have all other Democrats, that they care about the rule of law. So when push comes to shove, when it's time to hold somebody accountable for leading a country into war based on a lie, not like that's going to ever repeat itself again, right? Crickets. The Democrats don't do anything. Election, they made a representation. And to this day, people think, people think that, um, that it was the right thing to do. The people think that Iraq had something to do with 9-11. I mean, it's as appalling what they did. Uh, but I did, and I said, if somebody wants to make a case, you bring it forward. Uh, but I, I, they had impeached Bill Clinton for personal indiscretion and misrepresenting about it. Ha, huh. ha. Huh. Kind of like going after Trump right now, too. Now, the thing is, Trump wasn't president when he uh, was boning Stormy Daniels. OK, so, you know. I mean, Clinton did lie and he was president during that time. Impeached him. Some of these same people are saying, oh, this doesn't rise to impeachment. Were that right there impeaching Bill Clinton uh, for uh, for being stupid in terms of uh, uh, something like that? <laughs> I mean, I love him. I think he was a great president. But loves him. Thinks he was a great president. Got rid of that glass seagull so I could do some more. Just calm down so I could do some more insider trading. Being stupid in terms of that, and 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 what would somebody do not to embarrass their family? But in any event, um, and that's so they did. Bill Clinton. Now they want me to do George. I just, I just didn't want it to be a way of life in our country. As far as the Mueller report, uh, there, there was a, a good deal of uh, the academics said, and a thousand, a thousand legal experts wrote a statement that said the Mueller report uh, is an impeach. What's in there is an impeachable offense. Ah, the Mueller report. One big nothing burger. It wasn't um, so much of what's in the Mueller report will be more clear once some of the court cases are resolved, but it wasn't so clear uh, to the public. The Ukraine just removed all doubt. It was self-evident that the president mis uh, undermined our national security, jeopardized the integrity of our elections, as he violated his oath of office. There's just... Just like you, Nancy, and your insider trading and all the money that you're making. So as a final note, just remember, you got to be brave out here, folks. See, activists, all these people who are like, resist Trump! We got to resist Trump! None of you will ever do this. None of you will ever confront AOC or Bernie Sanders or Nancy Pelosi or Chucky Boy Schumer or Obama or Bill Clinton. Because the thing is, yeah, it's easy to go after Republican lawmakers, but Democratic lawmakers are enablers, too. You know, Pelosi, that's a very good place for you in the depths of hell, because for some reason... Look at all the look at look at all the sheep boo. Just replace the boos with an A and you get ba. People are in poverty and are dying. 
You're an Why asshole. Why did you tell the truth about Nord Stream? Why did we destroy Nord Stream? We're leaving millions of tons without energy. You have a knack of getting us into war. People like you should be arrested. You are a war criminal. Hey, Congresswoman, I came to see a warmonger, but you're a sad old drunk. <laughs> Ah, that's great stuff. Again, folks, keep on speaking truth to power. You don't owe the establishment anything. And these politicians, even when the old guard passes away and replaced with their younger Democratic and Republican counterparts, it's the same grape to make the same vintage of bitter wine. While we, the people, are losing our homes our small businesses, our infrastructure is falling apart, our air and water and soil are being contaminated. If we want things to change, we got to realize that the people in power are putting us in this position.